everyone and welcome back to my channel. So my name is Fallon and today I'm going to be opening the Pineapple Fabrics box. This is a quilt subscription box from Pineapple Fabrics and I'm kind of going to be deciding this time around if I am going to keep this subscription box or not. So let's open it up and see what's inside. Okay, first I love the box. It is so cute. And when we open it up, everything is always packaged so nicely. Oh, there looks like there's a lot of stuff in here. So Laundry Room by Studio E. Oh, we have a coupon code for, um, it looks like we can use it on our next order. That's fun. What is this? A little treat made exclusively for pineapple fabrics by marshmallow it looks like it's a some sort of a marshmallow interesting that's fun because it kind of gives you a um peek at smaller businesses so marshmallow art artisan marshmallows <laughs> are made in small batches to ensure quality and taste. They are best eaten right away. If you like your marshmallows with a bit of a crust, leave them in the open for a day or two. Interesting. Hmm. I'm not gonna try it right now, but that's kind of fun. So we have a bonus quarter bundle. We have some patterns. We have a ton of fabric in this box. Oh my goodness. Okay, let me set the box to the side so we can look at all of this a little easier. So let's set the patterns there. So we have these button embellishments. Maybe they go with one of the patterns. We will see. So that's an extra along with the marshmallows. And then we have this little notion here. If I can open it, Oh, that is cute. So we got teeny tiny scissors, tweezers, pins, some thread, safety pin needles, some buttons. So something you could just keep in your purse. Like if a button pops off and you really need that button, we all know where those buttons can be. That if, they, if we lose them, it's kind of embarrassing when we're out. So that is kind of cool. That comes in handy. I don't hate that at all. And this is also something fun that you could give somebody who's maybe new to interested in sewing or it is just a gift to someone. That's cute. Okay, so let's look at the, so we have a travel laundry and shoe bag. That's cute. I like that. So it looks like we have, so a laundry bag, a large shoe bag and a small shoe bag. So we have several different little options there on the size that we might need to sew. My daughter goes um, to soccer camp in the summer a lot, and this might be fun for her like to throw the clothes that she's used in there that she knows needs to wash. It looks like for the large shoe bag, they have like a hair dryer and stuff. So that's kind of neat. There's a couple different things you could use those for. And you could just use them as a gift bag to somebody too, instead of using wrapping paper. I know I say that a lot for drawstring bags, but to me, I really like that as an option instead of using paper that's just tossed. So, um, it says one Carla pineapple pack. I don't know if any of these are that, but I mean, there's plenty of fabric here to make one of those. And so it, if you see, it's an, a confident beginner. And then we have this one, the mosaic quilt that is an advanced beginner. And I really like the look at this. You could use scrap fabrics to put this together and just have all this um, sashing through there be one color so that it brings it all together. Or you could do the sashing, sashing in a bunch of different you know, like tone on tones or um, something that could bring it all together as well. Let me see. So one bonus quarter. So here's our bonus quarter. And I think those are the fabrics that was Laundry Room by Studio E Fabrics. So two yards for sashing. So I wonder if this might be two yards and then 
um, for sashing and binding, and then three yards for backing. Or maybe this is the sashing and binding. I don't know, but you could definitely, or, you know, get the backing yourself. So I would guess that this would be sashing and binding, and then you get the backing yourself. And this is some extra fabric for those, um, the shoe bag. I think we're going to go with that, that this fabric here is to make the mosaics on the quilt. This is for the sashing and binding. And then these we could use for the travel and shoe bags. I really still want to make the other project that I got um, last month, the tote bag. I just have not got around to it, but this would be something that I would make. I don't know if I would use this fabric, um, but it would definitely be a quilt I would make. Let's take a closer look. This one you can kind of see really well. It's very pretty red. Um, and I think that these are going to be the same from in here. If they look different, I will, um, I'll pull these out as well. So let's see, take a closer look. I really like this floral. Um, I really like this floor a lot. So they're bonus quarter bottles. This is 21 by 21 inches. So I think they're saying it's a little bit bigger than a typical fat quarter. That's a cute bookmark. So we have this floral. We have our ironing board and some of them have like an iron sitting on them. Not all of them, but that's cute. Clothes pins irons on a background that's like a um oh my gosh i'm drawing a blank like a plaid and then we have like a shelf with shirts and baskets and laundry all piled on it and we have kind of all of the things together with hangers ironing boards laundry baskets socks and then this looks like it kind of tells you how to clean up different kinds of stains. So it has red wine using a clean rag. I'm not gonna read it all. Grease and oil, um, chocolate, berries. That's kind of cute. So what are my thoughts? Hmm. So I love how much fabric you get in this box. Like this is, I mean, this is a ton of fabric. Um, and then we still have the fabric here. The notions, I like them. The little buttons are cute. This little pack is cute. The sewing kit. Um, we have the little extra bookmark. I will definitely use this. I love to read. Got introduced to another um, company. Just the problem is for me, um, both of the fabrics that I've gotten so far aren't really fabrics that I would gravitate toward and use. Um, this is a ton of fabric. I like the color, but I usually don't use fabrics that have like novelty things on them, like the irons. It's not bad fabric. It's just not for me. It's a really nice quality. Just what's on them is <laughs> it's not for me. This fabric is gorgeous. And the one of these with the florals that happen to be on it, if this was all florals like this, I would be ecstatic. Um, it's really hard for me though, because I think this is really nicely put together. Um, I do really like this pattern. I like this pattern as well, but you could find something similar for free online, but I do really, really, really like this pattern. I've wanted to make something like this. Um, I don't know, it's tough for me. I feel like maybe I should try one more time. But I'm also like both times I haven't really got fabric that I really love. It's a lot of fabric, um, but it's just not for me. So I don't know what to do. I have some time to decide. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Um, I'd like your input. It's just, it's hard for me because it's a lot of fabric and I think it's a good deal. Um, I like how it's put together, but I just, it's a lot of fabric to not be motivated to do the project because you're just like, it's okay. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. I would love to hear from you and I'll see you next time. Bye.